Hello, I'm Tim Lawton, Member of Parliament for East Welling Shoreham and co-chair of the All-Party Parliamentary Group for State Pension Inequality for Women. Now, things have been a little quiet for a while because we've been waiting for the result of the judicial review which a group of 1950s women took to court and unfortunately last week ruled against them. Now, because of the legal proceedings, government has been able to say it can't comment and therefore we've not been able to raise the subject. But as soon as we had that ruling, I took the opportunity, along with my co-chair Carolyn Harris, to write to the new Secretary of State saying that this iniquity, this anomaly is still going on. And as we've got a new Secretary of State for DWP, Therese Coffey, we would very much like to have a meeting with her to put out our case again on behalf of the many millions of women who've been affected in such an unfair way. I raised the subject at the Department for Work and Pensions questions just yesterday, and I'm very pleased to say that Therese Coffey has agreed to meet a delegation, Carolyn and me and others from across the parties in the Commons, uh, and we hope we'll have that meeting in the next few weeks. And of course, we'll be giving her a copy of the report which we produced from the All-Party Group last year with various proposals for transitional arrangements of how we can help those women who have been most disproportionately hit by the changes in the state pension age. But seeing how, for the longer term, we can find a much more fair and equitable set, um, settlement to help those millions of women who did not expect to be retiring much later into their 60s and are now suffering a lot of hardship. We recognise the ongoing problem. We haven't forgotten about it. We will continue to raise it at Parliament and with government at every opportunity.